I'm gonna, I talk to y'all about interesting shapes, okay? I want you to look at the shape of this. Do you see that? I see this here and this way. So I'm thinking interesting shape. And this is dark over into here. Do y'all see that shape there? You see this? Yes. Here. Mm -hmm. Even though there's a little dark there. We know there's a lot of dark over here. There's a, there's a piece of light in here I don't want to forget. So this is my road map. So I would say, all right, I want my dark areas to be cool. So I'm going to start with either purple or blue, not black. This a little bit lower. Because I'm looking at where this is compared to this. So pretty close. So that is my dark shape. There's a tree back here. It's in the distance. It's a little further away than what's in the foreground here. This one is the sunlight hitting the grass here, coming across the road. kind of leaving those stripes where I drew the line for what will be the shadow. <clears throat> for those distant trees. And I'm going to lighten it up. I don't have a real white, but this is almost white. I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. some sun hitting this. I still want to lighten it up a little more, so I pick up my pale yellow. Because it's warmer than what is there, even though this is my cool yellow of what I chose. I'm also going to gray it down a little bit with this purple. This is the warm purple. Okay, I want a little more dark in here. So this is the eggplant color. I do not have black. But I want it to look relatively dark. So I'm going to use that and come back over it. I might have to build it up several times with several different layers, very lightly on top of it to make a darker, mossier green. Blue, because I don't want that dark to look quite so dark. Green, back on it again, because I know it's a green tree. purple on this tree trunk again. And I think maybe a little yellow. Why? Because I want to lighten up that side. And what is the opposite on the color wheel from purple? Yeah. So it neutralizes that purple a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of the lighter green because there's some sun hitting it right in here. And it even goes across the top of that trunk and a little bit onto this one. Okay, sky, I would probably, you know I don't like blue skies. So I'm probably going to go with my cooler red. Yellow will lighten it. White will lighten it. So 
So what I have is colors that are sparkling and optically mixing besides some of the pastel dust mixing. As it gets closer to the horizon, remember it gets warmer. So I'll put in a little yellow. Come back with my turquoise again, very lightly. And the white again, to just warm it up some. So I know there's a limb sticking out here, which is what is going to make this tree look like a tree. And I know I need to tone that dark down because at that distance it will never be as dark as the one in front. I'm using just bits and pieces of other color that I've used to create a lighter section, warmer. It's not really lighter, it's warmer right now. And then some light coming across, peeking <coughs> through right along the edge of the really light area and the dark area. I want to transition because the darks are never as dark across the road as they are right right in here. They're going to get softer and lighter as they go across. I've left this area undone at the moment. I know it's a lot of green. And I kind of like this green that I've chosen to be in the light. There's a little trunk here. There's a big tree in the back that I've not done yet. This little one comes across. More turquoise. Some showing through back here. Some showing through here. They're never really real dense. You have to remember there's got to be air. to put this green on top of that light. But you are probably only going to have, you're, you're at a time somewhere where you're painting for 30 minutes, so you just want to get in the gist of what you see. Not every little piece. tree right here goes way up. That's a little distracting. I'm not quite sure. I don't always know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'll play with, and this is what you should be doing, you should play with your colors and see just how they look on top of another color. And the best way to do it is to choose a limited palette so that you're not overwhelmed by choosing too many colors put on top of one another. You should always look better than the face.